It was a Saturday night, early October, my first weekend home from college. My friends and I attended a St. Louis Blues hockey game. It was on our way home from that game that the car in which we were riding was struck broadside by a drunk driver. That crash not only crushed every bone in my face, uh, but I also had bilateral sight loss and woke up in the hospital just a few miles away from the crash site clinging to life. When they pulled me into the emergency room that night, I remember two things very distinctly. First, I remember having my clothing cut off, and second, I remember Jennifer. Jennifer held my hand throughout that first wretched night of darkness and trauma. And as she held my hand, she just kept saying the two most comforting words any human being can say to another. As she held my hand, she just kept saying over and over, I'm here, I'm here. And that, that simple human presence that Jennifer gave me that night uh, was the best thing and really the only thing she could have done to help me. From the time that the physicians told me that I would never see again, through all of the, the trauma and recovery, I had one goal and that was to go back to college, pick up the pieces as best I could. This story needs to be told and maybe this is the reason, the, the big answer to that unanswerable question of why. I've been speaking in the arena of healthcare and, and improvements in healthcare and improvements in patient communication for um, probably about 10 or 12 years now. Working with pre-med students is exciting. Uh, I think working with most undergrads is exciting. Uh, but these are our students who are currently dedicating all of their academic focus to healthcare and taking care, ultimately taking care of people just like me those who are suffering, those who are ill, injured, dying, or giving birth. These are, the, um, these are some of the most difficult times and some of the most beautiful times of a person's life. Marcus telling us about his experiences as a patient, it, it just has allowed me to really be motivated to put myself in that situation, to see the patient as a whole person and make sure that they feel that because we're giving the medications and that's the prescription of medicine, but also how you connect with patients is the delivery of medicine, and that's so much more powerful than just the knowledge that you're taught. So it's really this connection person to person and carrying that forward. The entire point of the Pathos class is to remind these students the power of being with, the power of human presence. I'd like to see it expanded to any and all folks who are going to dedicate their lives to laying hands on patients just like me.